Hi, y'all. Um, today I'm going to do a test. So um, if you're watching this video, it's because it actually worked. And um, if it does work, I'm going to be a very happy camper. So uh, you can see um, this software here, Garmin Basecamp. We all know it, or many of us know it. And uh, we take lessons and lessons and lessons on how to plan routes when it's so frustrating because we also know that we can uh, basically go to Google and plan a route. So somehow I was on a blog and I got this link and um, basically it's to this website here called Maps to GPX. That's it, right? So um, I've imported GPX maps from all different places and they never actually work in Garmin because they literally go from A to B and they don't have like all the little roads and the turns and the, the tracking points, right? Okay. So <clears throat> I did a quick uh, route, you know, on this uh, this software and it seems to have rooted me the way I wanted to go from uh, Russell to Guelph to visit my granddaughter okay <laughs> but before I, I I put all my trust in this I'm gonna really test it out so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go local here and um, just so you know I live uh, somewhere here uh, right there is where I live okay and let's say I want to go to this Barry's Home Hardware, okay? So, of course, you know, in many of the imports, if I put that in, it would just put in the end address and basically route uh, the way the GPS is set up. But I want to route it a certain way, which is what we all want to do when we're going on trips, right? We want to take curvy roads. We want to stop here. We want to take a shortcut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on directions and I'm going to start from my home. And this is in fact the most direct route. But I'm going to drag this and I'm going to go, I want to go here. Um, and I'll drag this to go down here. And maybe drag this to go down like this all the way down and then from here I'll go I'll go down this way okay so theoretically this is not a very good route to get to Barry's home hardware okay but you know I'm actually gonna pass a friend I'll go by uh, the Legion I'll see the river so you know I mean, maybe that's what I want to do. So what I'm going to do here is I've made this map in this simple way, right? And we could do the same for long distance maps. And once the map is made, there's this huge link on top. So all I'm going to do is copy it. And I'm going to go to this little software and paste it in here. Okay, and let's go. And it's spinning and you can see on the bottom of my uh, thing it has imported that uh, so I'm going to show in folder okay so it's imported this map here so I'm just going to copy this and put it on my desktop for now so we don't get confused right um, paste it here okay so now I'm going to go to my Garmin and I'm going to uh, import okay I don't want to go here I want to go my collection import so if I go to my desktop I have that GPX file so I'm going to import it okay and I believe it's this one here. And as you can see, now it's starting me there and bringing me around. Okay. So this looks really promising down the road and everything else to the store. 
This is like the best I've ever seen, okay? From an import GPX into a Garmin Basecamp. Now, the kicker is gonna be if it actually works. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send this to my navigator that's hooked up to my computer right now. And there it is, under internal storage. And I'm gonna find it here, where is it? Actually, I'm gonna rename this. I'm gonna name it, oh, there it is, 616 Louts Drive to Barry's Home Hardware. They even labeled it. Holy crow, isn't that nice? So, um, eh. I'm going to uh, now try it out. So I will come back to this video and if it works, then I'm going to actually donate to this guy, okay? <laughs> He's actually got a funky website, Facebook site, which I will show you if it works. And in fact, if it doesn't work, no one's ever gonna see this, so I'm literally talking to myself. <laughs> Hopefully not the case. Okay, I have my first glitch. Okay, so my first glitch was when I opened up my Garmin and I went to import my route as in Trip Planner, in the app Trip Planner, there was no route to import. I'm there, what the heck? I'm pretty sure I sent it to my Garmin. So I came back to the computer and I had a look and it is there. And if I look at my internal storage, it's there. But the thing is, is that um, basically, if I go back to this map here and I click on it, I see that it has all the points that I wanted to take. But it's got two feet which is weird. So it doesn't look like your typical root. And then I noticed create root. So I created root. And I made it Magneta, Agenta, whatever. <laughs> yeah, Magneta, too early in the morning. And I'm closing this and I can see now that's the root, the long root that I made, right? which is not the fastest route from A to B. So now I'm gonna take this and send this to, uh, send it to my internal storage and I should have a map to import. And it actually puts in the Laux drive to Barry's home hardware. So I think this is really cool if it works. So again, if it works, you'll see me again. If it doesn't work, I'm literally talking to myself. <laughs> So when, when I turned on my uh, Garmin, it imported the route. So just to be sure, I'm going app, trip planner. There it is. So let's activate it. And I'll get on the bike and go. Well, I'm back. And uh, yeah, I actually took this long route all the way through Russell to get the home hardware. And every direction was perfect. So... Maybe this is old news, maybe it's new news, I'm not sure. But for those who struggle with Basecamp, uh, this is the way to go. So just to end the video, um, this is the site. Um, and you just paste the Google in there like I showed you at the beginning. So um, here we go. Um, let me just pull this over. That's the site. Take note. Now. What you need to do is subscribe to my YouTube. If you're not already a subscriber, that just helps me make more videos like this. Thank you. Have a great day.